After battering much of Florida the past two days, Hurricane Ian officially made a second landfall in South Carolina near Georgetown just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Ian weakened to a Category 1 hurricane before the second landfall, but continues bringing substantial impacts to the Carolina coast, where places like Myrtle Beach and especially Pawleys Island have seen significant flash flooding and storm surge. Pawleys Island in particular has seen severe damage from the storm. A large section of the Pawleys Island Pier collapsed in the high surf and then was pulled out into the rough seas. A combination of Ian and tidal flooding led to a gauge at Spring Maid Pier in Myrtle Beach reaching 10.7 feet. That's the third highest crest on record and beats the most recent record set by ECEAS in 2020 by about one foot. Several water rescues were performed in the area as well as flash flooding inundated many homes along the coast. This photo shared on Twitter by the Pawleys Island Police Department shows a boat dock floating in the floodwaters right in front of City Hall. Ian becomes the first hurricane of the 2022 season to strike the Carolinas with rain and gusty winds happening now as far inland as right here in the upstate and western North Carolina. Ian will continue bringing impacts tonight before winding down early tomorrow morning. For WIFF News 4 in Greenville, I'm meteorologist Griffin Hardy.